And we're going to update you on this breaking news. Look at all of this water shooting up from a broken hydrant. It did a real number on a major road here in El Cajon. And 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens is there live this morning right on El Cajon Boulevard in Maine. And what's the latest on these repairs, Jared? Well, oh, Jason, Virginia, good morning. One lane of this street is still shut down as the repairs continue. Right now, the crew has been spending the last hour or so putting new asphalt into some of the sinkholes that were formed by that geyser early this morning. They're hoping to open more of the road by 7 a.m., but they've still got a lot of work to do on the sidewalk in this area where you see the fire hydrant laying on its side. Hey, here's another look at that geyser. Our 10 News breaking news tracker was the first camera on scene as water shot more than 30 feet into the air. It happened about midnight when a U-Haul crashed into the geyser and knocked it off. It took about 45 minutes to get the water turned off, and a witness told us that the U driver of the U-Haul was staying at a hotel next door to where this crash happened. And the hotel wouldn't let him park his rig there. So let me walk you through back out here live what happened to cause the crash. He was trying to back up and then turn in to park here. And you can see hit the fire hydrant right here with the front of the truck. And then it scraped along the side until finally releasing, but then slammed into it right here. Look at the yellow paint from the fire hydrant on the side and the dents on the truck. That's what knocked it off its base and created that geyser. No word from police this morning on if the driver will face any charges, but we do know that no one was hurt. Live in El Cajon, Jared Aarons, 10 News.